Hello there. Right, I'm regularly, regularly being asked uh, which metal detector should I buy. I'm new to the hobby, I want to get started. How much should I spend on a metal detector? So I've put this video together. I'm going to introduce you to 23 different metal detectors on the market, uh, most of the best selling ones, and just give you an idea. It might help somebody pick, uh, pick which machine they want to buy. Firstly, what I will say is when you're buying a machine, it's like it's like getting a new car. Some some are more suitable for some people than they are for others. Um, you might want it for the beach, you might want it for land. The mineralisation in the ground might be different from one country to the other. You might want a water metal detector. So they're all different, they all do different things. So it's up to you to really study them and uh, choose which you want. But this is just a rough guide. They're all going to be listed in price order, going from the cheapest to the most expensive. I'm going to cut it up into three sections, starting with machines for beginners, uh, mid-range machines, and then going on to the best metal detectors that you can get. I've put prices on them in American dollars and in English pounds. Um, the very rough prices, I've just very quickly picked them off the internet. You'll have to check out uh, your best deals online yourselves, but it'll give you a rough idea of what you can expect to pay for each machine. When you do get a new metal detector, be very, very careful that you don't get a copy. There are some copies on the market nowadays. It's always best to either buy from a reputable dealer if you're going to buy one brand new. If you're going on eBay, for example, don't just go for the cheapest. Just make sure it's from a good supplier because it's the cheapest who are usually selling the copies. So just be very careful. If you do want to buy second hand, I can highly recommend treasureclassifieds.com. If you go on there, there's a lot for sale on there around the world. Um, but again, make sure you ask the questions to the people selling and just find out about them. Just make sure that uh, these are legitimate sales. So let's get straight on with the beginner's machines. There's going to be, I think, 10 beginner's machines here. And then I'll have a little chat about which I recommend at the end of it. So let's get on with it. Beginner's machines. OK, let's start with the Tesoro Compadre. About $160 in America. Basically, the discrimination and the on-off switch are from the same button. Very, very simple. You don't get easier than this one. Uh, it's got a very good sound on it. Good iron discrimination, apparently. Um, and, yes, if, if you're just thinking about getting into the hobby, but you don't want to spend too much money because you don't know if you like it or not, this might be the one for you. The Garrett Ace 150. Now, this has got a lot of functions on it. It will take you a while to get used to if you've never used a machine before, but once you... Once you're into it, no problem at all. It's proven to find gold. I know two people who found gold coins with one of these. It will detect up to maybe about 8 inches. On the downside, it's got a very small coil. It's no pinpoint and it's no volume control. But a very good all-rounder at $170. The Bounty Hunter Tracker 4 Pro. Now this has got ground balance, so you can use this on the sand. Um, I've never used one. Whether it's any good on the sand, I don't know. But it should detect up to about 6 inches, and it will cost you about $160. On to the Fisher F2. Now this is, for the money, one of the best you can get. $199. It's waterproof, so you can use it on the beach or sand. It's very durable, and a great display screen. This gives you the option of a, a 1 to 99 um, find display which you don't get on any others of this price or very few of them anyway so this is a good a very good little starter machine the technetics eurotech pro two hundred and nineteen dollars runs off a nine volt battery um, it's got volume control a very clear display and it can be used on land or dry sand the Garrett Ace 250, the best selling machine in the world, comes in at around $230, gets a very good depth, um, it's full of lots of features, it's got pinpoint, great discrimination, 
I know a lot of people who have had these for years. They've never de they've decided never to upgrade because they're so happy with the machine. Some of them just get larger coils to go on the end um, and just keep the same machine for years and years. So a great machine. The only downside to it, as far as I'm concerned, is the armrests do have a habit of snapping. Although Garrett will replace them if you get in touch with them. Technetics Delta 4000. Now this is a very good all-rounder. It does a little bit of everything and it does it very well. It's got a great graphics display on it. One of the best target IDs you'll find for this kind of money. Great sensitivity and discrimination settings. It's overall very good. The only downside I would say is the search coil is, is pretty average really in keeping up with the standard of, of the rest of the machine. White's Coin Master Pro. Now it does exactly what it says on the box. It finds coins. Fantastic machine, very sturdy and reliable, as all White's machines are. It's perfect for like your tot lots, your you know your parks, your beaches. It's got sensitivity, so it'll work quite well on a beach. And you've got the White's um, the White's brand. So White's are very well known in metal detecting as having the best customer services out there. So if you have any problems, get in touch with White's and they always sort you out. So yeah, this is a, a very good starting machine. The Garrett Ace 350, or the Garrett Euro Ace as we call it over here in Europe. Great machine. This is what I started out with. $330 in America. Now, the depth on this is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. It's got more functions than any of the others for this kind of money, which I know about. Um, great discrimination. I actually had two of these machines. One, My first one broke, and I bought a, a second one because I liked it so much. So I would highly recommend this, um, but be wary that the armrests can break, but Garrett will replace them. The Mine Lab Exterra 305. Now this is the most expensive of what I would consider a starter machine. This is MineLab's cheapest machine at $399, but MineLab are very well known for producing quality. It's got great iron discrimination and works very well in trashy areas. People also keep going on about how good the battery life on it is as well. It will get you about 8 to 10 inches in depth. Personally, I'd expect a little bit more than that. I don't think it gets as deep as the Garrett Euro Ace, the Garrett 350, but overall a fantastic machine. So as you can see there, the cheapest one which I've put down is $160. I wouldn't really go much cheaper than that. Um, there's certainly no point in buying one of these at $50, $60, $70, which you can get. Yes, the wheel metal detect, but the metal will probably just have to be laying on the surface. They're okay for, you know, your four-year-old children just to be playing around with, but they're certainly not, if, if you want to get into the hobby properly, start at $160, I wouldn't go any cheaper. Unless you're going to get one second-hand, of course, but try to get one which was $160 to start with, at least. Now, I know you're going to want me to recommend certain machines. I don't want to do that because I've not used all the machines. It's not fair on the other companies selling them. But I will tell you the ones which, from what I hear and from what I know, are worth the money. Okay? And them, in, in the particular, in the beginner's ones, I would certainly, for value for money, I would recommend uh, Garrett 250 the Fisher F2 and the White Coin Master. They're the three which seem the most popular. Um, Fisher F2, I've never used one, but I think if I did have to start again, I'd go for that. I'd give that a go. But uh, yes, Garrett 250 is the best seller. It's the best seller for a reason. Okay, getting a little bit more expensive now into the mid range. There's just four in this part, uh, so let's take a look at them. Garrett AT Pro. This was my second machine what I upgraded to. One of the best machines I've ever used. Absolutely loved it. It's got amazing depth. Never missed a signal. Uh, for the money I would say it's, it's one of the best you can get. It's waterproof so it's great for going in rivers and streams. But it's not good on the beach I will warn you now. It's not good on wet sand. Um, I will question however the headphone socket. It used to keep breaking on me. I had a lot of problems with it, but I can't question the machine itself. It did a fantastic job. The MineLab Exterra 705. 
Now, a lot of people say that this is a difficult machine to master. Um, and I think a lot of that is to do with the instruction manual isn't very good. But once you do get on top of that, once you do learn the machine, it is supposedly a very, very good machine. Um, and a lot of people don't upgrade from this. They'll just stick at this and be happy with it. It's very durable and has a great display on it as well. That comes in at 729 American dollars. The Technetics G2. This is around $700 and it's beautiful to look at and very lightweight so you can swing it all day long without your arms aching. It's got a great display on it, an 11 inch double D coil and it's very deep seeking and will find them very small targets which a lot of machines will miss. The White's MXT Pro now this is one of the one of the best high frequency machines there are out there. It's a little bit loud, but I don't think that's important. If it's doing the job it's supposed to do, I don't think the volume's too much of a problem. Don't expect to get amazing depth with it, but it will certainly find anything within its reach and it's got an incredibly accurate audio response on it as well. well out of them four for me, it has to be the Garrett AT Pro. Um, I loved it as a machine, I had one myself. It's just, yes, parts did break on it, but when it did work, it was fantastic. Um, so yes, as a mid-range detector, and especially if it's going to be your first metal detector, I would recommend that because it's very easy to use as well. Um, the MineLab um, Xterra 705, again a fantastic machine, but it's going to take you, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to uh, to master that one and slightly more money so I would personally go Garrett AT Pro. Now for the big boys there's nine in this section not really for someone who's just starting out in metal detecting although one or two of them will will be suitable these are for people who want to build up to the best metal detectors they can get so let's take a look at them. The Technetics T2 now this comes in at around $800 and from the outside this has got everything. It's got great balance, it's light, it's got a fantastic display, it looks sexy, it's just fantastic. Is it any good as a machine? Yes, from what I'm hearing it is a seriously good performer and it's one of the easiest out there to use. The Fisher F75, now this looks good, feels good and it performs good. It's a very good price for what you get and for the value for money I would say this is better than some of the more expensive rivals. Um, it's very lightweight so you can swing this all day long without any problems. Very easy to use. We're moving into serious money now with the Fisher CZ21. Now this is a waterproof beach stroke sea detector. Very good for diving, very good for trashy beaches as well. Um, it's very well known for getting depth and the ability to find the tiniest of targets. It's basically a cheaper alternative to the MineLab Excalibur 2. The XP Gold Max Power. Now I have used this machine it comes in at $1,250. It's got unbelievable discrimination and recovery speed on it, which makes it stand out. It's one of the deepest detectors I've used, and it also has cordless headphones, which puts it high on my list. White Spectra V3i. Now, this comes in at $1,500. And it's one of the most advanced machines out there. It has a, an amazing built-in computer which allows you to... It sort of predicts the shape and the size of an object. Um, gives you a very good idea of what, what you're going to find. It's very sturdy indeed. And it will take you a while to master and get the settings right to suit your soils. But it's well worth the wait. You'll see me using this. I've got one myself. You're going to see me using this throughout the summer. So stay tuned for, for them videos. These are very popular in America. The MineLab E-Track. I've had one of these in the past. Unfortunately, I've put it in the salt water in the sea and broke it. But possibly one of the best all-round machines on the market for value for money. It works brilliantly on land and brilliantly on, on wet sand as well. It's very sturdy. Some people will say it's a little bit heavy. I disagree. Maybe it's a bit heavier for, for older people, more elderly people. 
Um, it never ever misses silver. It's a complete silver magnet. And for me, the only thing missing from the E-Track is it's not cordless. It doesn't have uh, cordless headphones. The XP Deus. This is the machine I'm using at the moment and absolutely loving it. It's completely wireless. Unbelievably light. It's probably the lightest machine there is in the world, as far as I'm aware. It is amazingly light. Um, cordless headphones and the ability to seek deep. Now, this for me is the best land detector that I have used. Um, it's perfect for older people who don't want too much weight. And people who detect in woodland where wires get in the way and you can snag the wires on branches. You don't have that problem with the XP Deus. It's very easy to use and once you've got your settings loaded into it, it's just a matter of turning, to, turning it on and away you go. Amazing machine. The Garrett ATX. Now this comes in at $2,200. It's telescopic and I'm hearing it's one of the best pulse induction machines available. Um, because it's new to the market, the early tests I'm hearing and I'm reading are very good, but who are making them tests? That's what you have to ask yourself. I'm presuming the people who have got this machine at the moment are the Garrett faithful, the people who love Garrett and have always had Garrett. Um, I'd like to hear more reviews before I make judgment on it. I'd like to see one in the flesh. But yes, it does certainly sound like it's going to be a fantastic machine and right up there with the best. The Mine Lab CTX3030, $2,500. The most expensive in the hobby metal detectors which I know about. Um, but simply put, you won't hear many bad things being said about this machine, apart from it's very heavy and it's quite expensive. It does everything you could possibly want from a machine. It even has GPS. GPS, for God's sake. It's uh, waterproof, so you can use it in the sea. It can be used wirelessly on the headphones. Um, all reviews you have about it are positive. It's just the weight at £5, it might put a lot of more elderly people off. Is it the worth the money though? It probably is. Okay, so there's the best of the best. Um, what do you think? Which would you pick? Personally, I'm very happy with what I've got, the Deus. I think it's a marvellous machine, simply because of how light it is, and the fact there's no wires on it, and it does get depth. That's all I could ask for in a machine. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, but, having said that, it's not very good on sand. Whereas the E-Track is fantastic on the sand. So, Mine Lab E-Track, value for money, yes. Um, CTX3030, probably the best of them all, but you're paying for it. Okay? Um, I would personally go with an E-Track or, a, or, a, or an XP Deus. Then you've got the white Spectra V3i, very popular in America. Um, they seem to have a problem getting depth in England, in, in our soils. Now, I believe there is a way around that, you just have to get the settings right, which I'm working on at the moment on mine. Once you've got it sorted out and you know what you're doing and you've mastered the machine, it's going to be perfect in England as well. So there you have it, 23 metal detectors for you all to have a look at. I hope I've helped somebody in some very small little way in making a decision on what metal detector they want to buy. Um, there's lots more, there's hundreds of metal detectors out there, I can't mention them all in the video. So there's no point putting comments below saying you didn't mention this one, you didn't mention that one. There's also no point putting comments below asking me for more in-depth advice on each machine because I just don't know it. I've done the basic research for you. It's now up to you to go online and uh, finish the deal for yourself. But uh, by all means, do comment um, and I'm sure somebody else might be able to answer any questions you've got for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you all very soon. Um, take care and goodbye. Thank you for watching guys, please click subscribe just over there, if you want to see if I've got a competition going at the moment, click the button over there, I've also put four videos here for you, um, this is the most popular videos, so I'll see you all later, thank you for watching, bye bye.